Yeah, you know. <clears throat> Daryl, I don't know if you, uh, if, you saw the, if you saw the Warriors game last night and what happened with Durant. Um, Gruden was talking about how last year he saw you trying to pop your shoulder back in to get out there and play. You wound up on injured reserve. Just curious as to what's a professional athlete's mindset on when they should go out and try and play? Do you need the medical staff to tell you not to? Is it going to be up to you? How do you kind of sort through that whole thing? Um, I just feel like <clears throat> at the end of the day, we're, we're all doing a, a game that we love, which is, <clears throat> I mean, ever since we were little kids, we we're always being able to compete. And we're going to be competitors at the end of the day. So even when you do, you feel like you have a little nicked up or, or do this or do that, you just want to be able to con continue to be out there with your team, uh, just give, giving your all. And I mean, whether <clears throat> whether it is an actual injury or, or, you, or you just feel like you're hurt a little, you just want to still be able to go out there and play. And I mean, sometimes when it's a, when it's a real injury, the, the the training staff they'll stop you. But I mean, when you feel like you can go, you're you're definitely going to try. Would you have played last year, the last couple of weeks, if you were in a playoff situation? Just couldn't go. Yes. You would have yes, I, I felt like I, I definitely felt like I, I wanted to, even though we weren't in a playoff situation. I mean, it, just to be able to continue to play and go out and compete each week was something I definitely wanted to do. So they ired you basically against your wishes. Yes. And which game was it where you popped up? Uh, I believe it was Cincinnati. Okay. And then they, you were ired the next week. How did you grow in last year, just from a, a mature standpoint, and whether that's on the field, off the field, anything between? Um. Well, I mean, uh, just having another another year of life under my belt. Uh, it just you, you you continue to learn and get better. I mean, uh, and on the field and off the field. Um, I feel like on the field, just uh, being able to, to just be a guy that that's reliable. I mean, as far as the coaches, my, my teammates, and just just being everywhere that that's expected of me. I think the, the coaching staff showed a lot of confidence in you, especially as the season went on. How did that do for your confidence in coming into the season? Uh, it, it's, it just sets the bar high, and I mean, you you, you be able to hit the ground running. Uh, when we got back here in the spring, we we all we talked with coaches. We knew what was going to be expected of us. So being able to come in and just <clears throat> just take off from from where we left off, but it was a it was a great high point. John has said there's a different vibe this year. What's your sense of the, so far this offseason? The moves you guys made, what you've seen so far. Um, I feel like it's it's definitely uh, it's it's way ahead of where it was last year. And I mean, uh, from from the guys that we we had on the team last year that that, that we brought back in to the into the team, uh, it's it's basically just all, all vibing off of, off of one another. The additions that we we've had, those guys, I mean, they we have we have some top notch players, and I, I mean they they come in and, and they're they're taking on the role that that's expected of them as well. And I mean, it's all it's all gelling very well. Working with uh, Gary on the last year plus and getting to know him, is he a real sky's the limit type of player? How do you view his game and his work ethic? Uh, definitely, I think I think uh, Gary going to he's he's going to have an amazing season. I mean, that's simply off the field. Uh, we actually we're actually staying together right now. So I mean, I we we got, we've got a lot of closer a lot a lot closer off the field as far as everything goes. But I mean, G he he he's he's a guy that's no, no matter what, what you expect out of him, he's going to continue to 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 set the bar high and and compete for himself. Yes, definitely. When did that arrangement start moving together? Uh, since spring. So when, when did we start spring? Uh, April, like 17th, something around there. How's that been? Uh, it's, it's fun. I mean, you you know, <laughs> it kind of takes you back to your college days, even though you're grown men living it, living with another grown man. But it's cool. I mean, as long, long as no one's messy, I feel like you never have a problem. Have you been without a roommate for a while? Is this new for you? Yeah, I mean, the, the last roommate I had is, is, is my fiance right now. So <laughs> no, I haven't had another one. I haven't had one before that since like sophomore year of college. Yes, definitely, and, I, and that's something that Coach Gruden has been emphasizing to us this this uh, this year. And I mean, it's it, we're at that point in our careers where it's it's the prime, and we we really we for our team to thrive, we feel as though we we have to be playing at the highest clip as well. What are your thoughts about the possibility that I don't know? Have you guys been told one way or another whether or not Hard Knocks is going to be doing you guys? This no, year? I haven't. What would your thoughts would be? I don't know if it is, but if that was the case, what would your thoughts be? Um, I, I think it would be fun. I mean, we have a lot of uh, uh, new personalities, uh, guys on the team. I mean, I, I don't feel like I would be like a star or just because I'm, <laughs> I'm not that, that big of a talker or anything. But yeah, it would definitely be fun. If the TV cameras are here, is that reason to trim your beard or to keep it going? 
Oh man, <laughs> it, it, I probably would keep it going. Now, now that uh, it, it, it would be, it, that would probably be a story. Speaking of who would be the biggest star? Oh, I mean, there, there's a, <laughs> that, that that goes without being said. Ab. Speaking of stars, you get a chance to line up and cover Antonio Brown every day. What's that doing for you? And what does his sort of energy and what he brings to practice? How's that? Everybody else. Um, he's a guy that plays at a high clip. Uh, just, just if you if you were to watch him, just catch a simple uh, slant. He takes it all the way to the end zone. He wants to score each and every play. So he he's definitely a, a high high level competitor. And uh, we we talked to him before. I mean before uh, practice got started and everything. And the one thing he wanted to say was that we all need to get better. Um, not only is he going to make us better by being one of the best receivers in the league, but <clears throat> we're also going to make him better because we're all different players at the end of the day. It seemed like from watching some of the early practices, like there's after. Certain plays or certain routes, or it seems like there's some dialogue between you and him or Gary. On the, is that just kind of banter, or is there something constructive coming out of that? Oh no, it's definitely constructive. I mean, we we, we uh, ask questions because I mean he's he's seen a lot of different players, and. Uh, we know that uh, this offseason, he actually did a little bit of studying on us and just, just getting ready for practice and stuff like that. So he uh, he's definitely been able, been able to give us feedback on, on where he felt as though we can improve or, or what, where he felt as though that we've seen that, that we may have covered it well. What's an example of something that he's suggested to you or feedback that he's given you? Um, just just uh, different releases off the line, things like that. Uh, when, he feel, when he feels as though a certain thing is coming, he'll, how he'll attack it. He studied up on his own corners to make them better in practice? Yes. Is that unusual? Oh, man, I wouldn't say so. I mean, it, it's helped him thrive this long. No, I mean, it, did, what, have you noticed other guys doing that, or is that something that's unique to him? Uh, it, may, it may just have been a story where that this is the only time we've heard of it, but, I mean, okay. it, 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 it's definitely something I, I, I could see happening. You're entering your fourth year, but you're still pretty young. Are you, are you feeling like you're, this is the start of your prime, that, that your confidence and physical ability is kind of? Yes, I feel like it, it definitely has to be. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like there's, there's uh, any more time to waste or it's, uh, where I'm, I'm still uh, beating around the bush with it. I feel like it's, it, is, it is the prime of my career, and it's, it's time to take it to another level. In your secondary, it seems like there are a number of guys who have kind of come up together. We talk about Gary on, we talk about Abram getting cuts in the league. You know, Carl wants to take his game to the next level. What's the culture like in the secondary room with these guys who – all trying to take that next step. Um, I feel like the 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 vibe in our room right now is just it's it's amazing. Uh, from the guys that, that we added on the outside, uh, guys that like like Nevin and uh, Curtis Riley coming from other teams, where they they weren't necessarily the the, the top notch uh, tier guys, but they come in with, with a certain work work habit, and they're 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 showing it uh, on and off the field. Uh, we have LJ who's who's come come into the room. Uh, he he's he's played in top top notch football. I mean, he he just played in February. So for him to turn back around and come right into OTAs, working the way that he does, and uh, and uh, us adding the young guys, it, it's it's kind of like a good culture that's that's really going around with uh, with uh, uh, similar like like guys. Just curious, uh, quickly, what was your uh, reaction when you saw the schedule for this, especially the first half? Obviously, you guys are traveling a lot, go long stretch without playing a game here. What was just your reaction? To the um, I mean, it, it doesn't matter where you strap it up at. You just you, you have to go out there and play each and every day. How do you feel about Paul Gunther's system now entering year two? Obviously, you got to play in it for a little bit and you got hurt. But did you feel like when you were hurt, you were able to watch from the sideline and see it unfold a little bit differently than when you were out there? Yes, yeah, so definitely. I mean, you're just being on the, on the sideline uh, when you know what's going on and, and guys are – are, are doing certain things you you uh, you begin to study and it it, it, it becomes a lot a lot clearer to a um, lot more clear to you and so for that reason you feel like you're going to be able to advance further in the second year on, in Paul Gunther's system yes definitely last year when you guys went to London it was a pretty quick trip I don't know how many hours you guys were there but off the plane walk through game long trip back I feel like this year is going to be different where you guys go from Indianapolis to London most likely what are your thoughts about the extra time to acclimate, and what was it like last year with the short turnaround? Um, I feel like the the short turnaround last year it it, it, did, it might have took a toll on some guys' bodies uh, compared to uh, being able to have a lot more time to unwind. Um, not not so much of being a tourist, but just just having that body clock, uh, being able to, to be uh, fully adjusted going into a game on Sunday. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Daryl. No problem.